Hello and welcome back to Lord Fan Gaming Plays Wasteland 3. I'm your host, Lord Fantasy Wasteland 3, trophy slash achievement video guy. I'm gonna show everybody how to earn Miagli. That's when you charm all the different types of animals in the wasteland. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more, more Wasteland 3 videos like this. And don't forget that notification bell to so be updated more. Now, please note this is a missable trophy. Also, Make a dummy save and very important, release all your current animals because we're going to go uh, ahead and uh, charm the many ones we're going to do. Just remember, charm, release, charm, release until you get the trophy slash achievement pop. So let's go ahead and do the uh, stats you uh, do need. Now, first of all, you need ammo whisper to 10. So my advice is do this after you do the psychopath before doing the trader. So this way you can create a maxed out character like I am creating for uh, ammo whisper 10. That is very important. So let's get to the next part of the game, which is the uh, animals and their location. I'm even going to give out the name ones too. Now the first one started a game, Major Tomcat. Yeah, it's a cat, so it's at the start. Very important to uh, know this. You could get Joey Bell alive or dead. I prefer her alive, personally. You could use a hard ass or a kiss ass in order to stop the hostage situation. So just uh, pick like what I'm picking. And then I'm going to tell everybody the next step in order to get this uh, cat. Now, after you save Jody Bell or get her killed, you could either retrieve the cigarette butt from her corpse. Or in this case, keep on talking to her. And she'll actually will uh, talk about Major Tomcat. You're all wondering who is that when you first play the game? Well, guess what? That cat will actually uh, join you if you have the cigarette butt. And it will uh, count too. Now, best way to also do this is uh, Ammo Whisper to 4, if I remember right. So, we're going to go ahead and get the cigarette butt from her, and there you uh, go. Once we uh, do that, the next and final step will be, for this part of the trophy slash achievement, is actually recruiting Major Tomcat. And yeah, you'll get a nice buff. So, let's go ahead and do this. Once you get the item from Major Tomcat via Jody Dead or Alive, You'll uh, come to uh, this uh, cat. Remember, uh, do not go to Kodiak. Otherwise, you miss out on Major Tomcat. And if you miss out on all the cats, you will not earn any trophy slash achievement. So, either use the item or better yet, if you have Ammo Whisper 4, then Major Tomcat will join you. Just remember to uh, release or uh, charm if you're using a dummy save. So, I'm going to show you the locations next. Now, the uh, next animal is the dog. It's at Ranger HQ. They are very common. They're also at downtown Colorado Springs and everywhere else. So let's get to the next animal type. Now, the cats, they could be at downtown Colorado Springs, Rosie's apartment, or as a reward from Rosie if you stop the noise in Little Vegas. So this is one that cats at Ranger HQ when they come there via Rosie. In the Garden of the Gods is the chicken. This one's very easy to charm. Remember to release, charm, release, charm until you get the trophy slash achievement if you're using a dummy save. In the Garden of the Gods is the name cat, Bella Meow. Yeah, this one you could definitely charm if you do not have any cats at all. And here's her uh, exact location. Now at the Garden of the Gods is the fox. This is the best location to get a fox. So here is the uh, one of the areas you could definitely get a fox at. Now the next one is the rabbit. This is the best place to actually charm one is the Garden of the Gods. They're in other zones, but I felt like the Garden of the Gods was the best place to pull this off. Even though it is not an ammo, but I'm going to go ahead and still count it. The cyborg chicken. Yeah, go ahead and charm that too. Just talk to it and set the ammo whisper one, and that should do it for the Garden of the Gods. Now this next one, Billy and Jean, the two-headed goat, I threw in for a good measure. Please note you must pick the Hoon Homestead during Heads or Tails, otherwise you might miss out on this ammo to uh, charm. So remember to pick the Hoon Homestead. Let's get to the next one. Now this next one is the Mountain Goat. It's at the Get Family Homestead. You're going to need lockpick in order to access it. Now please note you need to speak with Randy Get in order to get this side mission. If you did not and wiped him out during a very hostile takeover, well, you're going to miss out on the Mountain Goat. The next one is Polly the Parrot. You must make sure this parrot is Ammo Whispered. You could buy it too if you uh, buy it. Then you need uh, Ammo Whispered 9 when you uh, tell it to get lost so this way you can recharm it. 
Other than that, this one's missable, so best get it ASAP. The next one is the Waste Wolf. It's at the Bizarre Exterior near where Charlie Knowles is at for a very hostile takeover where he's about to take over the Bizarre or not. So simply go ahead and ammo whisper it and we're going to get to the next one. Now for the next one is the pig. It's at the Warrens. Not the pig with the bombs, just these uh, normal looking pigs. Really simple to ammo whisper. In order to access the Department of Energy site, you will need to get the side mission called Coded Transmission. Great news is that the Razorback is actually at the start of the Department of Energy site. Simply go ahead and ammo whisper it. Really simple. Now, I felt like this place for the dough was the uh, best to uh, charm. You could also get one at the Santa's workshop or the machine commune. So go ahead and simply ammo whisper it. And we'll get to the next one that's next to it, which is the stag. After the dough, there is the stag at Aspen. The uh, stag is also at the machine commune. However, I felt like after clearing out Aspen, this was the best time to actually get the stag. Now, next up is the growler cub. Take out the growlers, don't use any AOE attacks. Do not go the trap way, instead go the other way, so this way it'll be easier for you to uh, tame this uh, cub. So let me explain this. In order to get the Nox Bison Ranch, you must make sure Nox is alive, number one. Number two, you must discover the Campbell Jamboree or to have access later onto the Nox Bison Ranch. That's two things. First of all, for the uh, Campbell Jamboree, go northwest of a uh, Corral section. Yeah, northwest. You'll find Rayo SOS. Listen to it. Then that'll be appearing on the map. Campbell Jamboree. Go in there. Pick Kiss Ass to this one guy. So this way you get Headhunter. Now Headhunter are the uh, three targets at the Nox Bison Ranch. So in other words, go do the psychopath. Save the Nox guy from being roasted in Little Hell. That's the first guy you talk to. After you save him, go speak to him at Broadmoor Heights. Once you're uh, done there, then travel south, southeast. And then you'll get SOS from the Nox Bison Ranch. At the Nox Bison Ranch... You'll uh, fight the Scars. Yeah, definitely fight the Scars so you'll uh, protect the Ranchers. Once the Scars are all defeated, talk to the Ranch Leader. Use Ammon Whisper 9 to uh, ask for a Bison. And then you'll uh, get that Bison. And that should uh, do it. Now, for the Honey Badger, go on the southeast corner of the map. Eventually, you will reach the Massacre site. The Honey Badger does require Max Ammo Whisper, which is 10. So go ahead and charm it. Remember, if you're using a dummy save, just uh, charm and then disband the animal by talking to the animal via targeting. Once you uh, do all that, repeat it over and over again on each of the animals I show in the video, different type. You'll uh, definitely earn the trophy slash achieve me angry. I'm going to give everybody some uh, tips really uh, quick. Number one, obviously, you want to use a dummy save after you did the cycle pass so all the areas you'll have access to. Number two... Make sure you find the Campbell Jamboree. That's very important. So this way, you'll eventually get to the uh, Knox Bison Ranch. And speaking of the Knox Bison Ranch, also in order to unlock it too, second condition, save the guy when you first see him in Little Hell from being roasted. Really uh, simple. Other than that, look for any of the other side missions. Go ahead and do it. You unlock those areas plus the animals uh, too. Just keep note what type of animals you did uh, charm. And for a uh, good measure, do the ones I uh, showed you in the uh, video. Well, this is it for my Wasteland 3 How to Earn Miangali Trophy slash Achievement Video Guide. This is Lord Fett signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button and check out my suggestions on the upper left hand corner or the bottom left hand corner YouTube suggestion. Have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe.